All right, so we need to uh Ah oh, shit, we missed her. What the hell? Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die. This is the Wasteland Survival Series. I'm an old guy gaming. We play this game on the same difficulty zones. They're all set to nightmare speed. This map is generated by Natrogen. It is a 100% wasteland map with a small, the exception of, a small green biome somewhere that we are on the hunt for. Uh, but we've been spending a little bit of time in this substantial town here. I'm um, just doing a little bit of looting. Uh, we got some, you know, some stores. We, we looted uh, this big... Uh, working stiff stool, tool store a couple episodes ago. We're gonna go. We're gonna go hit the uh, popping pills today, and then I think over here is a shamway. I ha I haven't found. Uh, I have not found a, a, a bookstore, cracker book, but that we haven't to, you know explored the entire town yet either. Okay, so anyway, I went ahead and bit the bullet and just took that first point in uh, advanced engineering and. Um, I also raised intellect up to two so that we can do grease monkey. However, I think I might. We need intellect level four. Yeah, I think I'm going to just put the next point in intellect to continue building this up and take advanced engineering two so we can just get a damn workstation. I mean, you know, we've been we've just not had any luck finding either a working workbench or a uh, you know a schematic for one now we did find a working workbench way back here you know <laughs> where we first started but that's just too far away um, particularly since we don't have a vehicle you know to get back over there so um, yeah that's what we're gonna do unless I come across the schematic or find a working one somewhere in this town um, I'm going to just get the perk for it so we can move on but anyway, that's not what we're about today. Today, we are going to go loot the pill store. You, oh, you can see I got a forge going here, too. Um, just feeding clay and iron into it and all the brass that I had. Um, this chest here is all stuff that I'm going to uh, smelt down in the forge. Um, yeah, we need to put a little bit more wood in there. I just want to keep it going. We'll probably eventually attract screamers, but whatever. We'll deal with it when time comes. Okay, so um, let's see what else. I've upgraded my little murder holes here uh, to concrete. Um, oh, I left the concrete at home. Or back up in the base. I got a bear out there too. So let's um, let's grab that. Yeah, we made a little over a thousand concrete. So we'll get that upgraded to reinforced. And what this does for us is... <clears throat> can I hit that bear with this? Uh, what this does for us is that um, this little pole here, the zombie will hit on the bottom block, and if they, if they happen to break it, they still won't be able to get in here because of the, the, the pole there that's in place. Did we kill him or stun him? We just stunned him. Come on, big guy. He's kind of glitching out a little bit. There he is. Okay, we don't want... We don't want him to get a swipe off on us, though. That would probably do some serious damage. We keep stunning him. <laughs> See, we took I, I took the uh, the weighted head mod thingamadoodle off of here too, and it still still does a really good job of stunning these guys. Come on, get in here. There we go. Get that head in here. There we go. We killed them. We killed them dead. Ah, for Pete's sake, our cobbles back up there. We should uh, actually um, harvest that guy too. We'll get some nice resources out of him. 
Anybody else around? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, after I left you guys um, in the last episode, I just went around for the remainder of the daylight. And uh, harvested up a whole bunch of scrap iron. Uh, what the hell am I doing? Come on. Come on, man. What the hell? That's empty, right? Okay. Now, we wanted to um, repair the damage that the bear did, which is pretty minimal. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade these two. Might as well. We get good XP for doing that. Okay, I want to do the other side as well. Hopefully it's cured by now. Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. Yeah, they had actually busted this block completely out, but it, it, at that point it was still just cobblestone, so. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's put the cobblestone and the concrete back away. Um, I'm just going to put that stuff in there too for now. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape for food and water. We we've, we've got uh, only one bacon and eggs left, but we still we got lots of meat though. So <clears throat> if you know worst comes to worst, we can just make more uh, boiled meat. Boiled meat uh, gives you ten stamina, but it also gives you water too. So it's kind of nice. Oh, I spent a little bit of time digging more in that mine too, just to get more clay. And we got attacked by a couple Zeeks during the night, and I. Had to use the AK on them, so we are we're pretty damn low on ammo right now, unfortunately. But oh, there's a bag down there. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so that's our destination right there. I don't see any Zeekers around, so let's do this. Another steel sledgehammer. Is it better than the one we have? It is not. It is not. Okay. Let's make a chest on this end of the building, too, just so we have something we can quickly drop off on. I've got one on either side uh, over back yonder there, too. So we'll just put that guy in there. All right, let's do this. Burned out cafe right there. There's a safe and probably a sleeper up there. Uh, is there? Let's check. Usually there is. Yeah. So it's you, eh? Alright, where's my hammer? Hold that head still, boy. Hold that head still. Okay. Let's check up here, too. 
don't want anything jumping down on our heads. Oh, nice. Very nice. We're really low on those right now. Okay, um, I have four lockpicks. Let's see if we can get lucky for a change with these damn lockpicks. Let's probably just put a point into it and be done with it, huh? I think I will, but not, uh, not right now. It's not the highest priority right now. Nice. All right. Good. 762s, a storage pocket mod, another AK. That's all pretty decent decent loot there. Okay, let's go here and let's grab our gloves and modify. And we just got another slot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, is this AK better than the ones we currently have? That's got one more magazine, but it does two less damage. Of course, this has a mod in it, too. This has plus seven more magazine for our secondary weapon. Um, yeah, I think that's worth it. That's a, that's a substantial amount more. Um, okay, so let's modify this guy. Okay, so that does 47 and has a magazine of 32. This does 50 and has a magazine of 33. So that is now our new main... AK. And those are the backups. It was good finding that 762 because we were really, really low. Okay, are we good on everything? Ammo wise? Looks like it. Alright, here we go. Time to do the pill store. Are there any zombos around right now? Because if not, we might as well run back and drop this extra stuff off. See a buzzard, but I don't see any zombos. I think that's everything. Okay, let's go. Just look and see if there's anything substantial in the bus station there. All right, so here we go again. Um, let's see if we can do the ladder thing again, just so we have a place to retreat to if things get really hot. That guy's gonna punch a murder hole open for us. We'll help him out here. Turn that into a bolt. All right, let's go ahead and pop on in here. Pretty much gonna use a very similar strategy to what we did with the tool store. That requires cobblestone. Okay, put that up there. Door is unlocked. There's a toilet pistol. Is it better than the one we have? No. Of course, we do have a mod on that one, but even if the if the mod was off of it, it's still not still not better.
All right, we're going to scrap this because we got so much of that back at the base. And we're going to scrap this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the nitrate. I'm going to hang on to the lead because I'm starting to make bullets and and um, uh, buckshot and stuff like that. So, Okay, let's, just like we did before, let's pop into the back room first before we go into the front room. That's a destroyed chemistry station with some wood in it. Alright, so that didn't work out so well, did it? Here, we'll just break this. to that. <laughs> Sucker. Alright. One of them got a, got a tap off on us. Uh, so let's do a normal bandage. Uh, but I think I'll just let our natural healing get the rest of that up for now. Alright, come on game. Give us something good, man. Give us something good. That's not my idea of something good. Alright, that's good. We already have two, so we'll have three now. <laughs> that's three Kim benches that we can make later on in the future at some point. Alright, so we got a Nurse Nancy and a, uh, I used to call that guy Ulrigeard, or Olgeard, Olgeard, when he had red hair, because he looked like, um, Olgeard Von Everick in uh, The Witcher, um, what was it called, Hearts of Stone, or whatever the, the DLC was. But then they changed him and gave him black hair, so now I'm not sure what to call him. <laughs> His name's Joe. That's the fun pimp's name for him. Oh, they're doing a number on this up here, aren't they? All right. Goodness gracious, you guys. Okay. Oh, didn't want to do that. Feral. No, he wasn't. I think his, his points were just added to hers. Okay. That might be a sleeper up there. Okay, we got a bandage. That's good. Another bandage. All right, all right, that's good. More antibiotics. Beautiful. Okay, that was good stuff. That wasn't bad. Whoops. Scrap a doodle of that. Let's just take that up one level. Wakey, wakey. It's more than one. We better upgrade this. Are they trying to break through this door? Oh, shit. We got it coming from two directions. Okay, here. Let's, uh... Can't you guys just come one at a time? What the hell, man? Okay, she's down. Alright. How 
close is he to getting through the door there? Jeez. Oh, there you are. I don't think we need to repair that now. Okay. Um, like I said, uh, we're just going to pump intellect to level four because that's what we need for Tinkerer. Man, I wish we could find some nerdy glasses. Then we'd only have to take it to three. Um, because, like I said, I'm just I'm just as tired of waiting for a workbench or a workbench schematic to show up, and it's just not happening. And you know, we'll be able to use those points for other stuff, other things later on, so it's not wasted points. It's just not necessarily what I would have spent points on right now. Had we found a workbench to use. That was close, not one that was like way back at the beginning. Alright. Are there any more sleepies in here or did we clear the whole place? Looks clear. Let's go up to the front and just make sure. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's start looting. Alright guys, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> so this is basically what we got, uh, two first, uh, large first aid kits, uh, ten normal first aid bandages, we got um, some blood bags that we'll say, hang on to for later when we can start making the 
excuse me, the big first aid kits, um, a little bit more oil shale, which is super precious because we can't get that normally for mining. Um, and and basically the, the rest of the stuff that you see in here. So that was a pretty good haul. I got the heat up. Sorry about that. Um, so it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. So what, let's go ahead and hit the Shamway store too. And then once we do that, um, I want to do a little bit more exploring in this town. And then we'll decide at that point uh, what we're going to do in terms of sticking around here a little longer or moving on. All right. So let's hit the Shammy store. Sure. This one I think will go in in the front because we don't have to worry about them really busting through the window here. I mean, theoretically they could, but it's not likely that they will. Uh, so let's do another drop chest. Just put that right there. All right, so we need to uh, ah, shit, we missed her. What the hell? Running horde. Well, <laughs> we put up a, we put up the best fight we could. There's nothing else we could do. What a shitty, shitty time for a running horde to come through. That's the second time. <laughs> That's the second time this damn waste lad has put a running horde right in my path. Oh my goodness! All right, well, say goodbye to all our 7.62 ammo, pretty much. Damn it! <sighs> It's frustrating. Okay. Um, let's grab one of these. Doesn't really matter what. And actually, let's grab two of them. No, 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 no. That was some rotten luck. Okay, do we have any spare stones? I was going to save some spare stones and... I didn't. Good for me. Alright, I'll we'll have to pick some up. Hopefully that freaking horde uh, buggered off. Oh, I hate that, man. I hate it because, I mean, it just sucks to die in general, right? But then we get that stupid uh, Grim Reaper buff. So it sets us back on our XP progress. Uh, just not a fan, you know. I will, I will say though, it's not as bad as it was in Alpha 17. In Alpha 17, it was so bad that, I mean, it was rage quit bad. <laughs> it really was. It was terrible. Why the frick didn't I drop off those stupid bullet casings? You stupid ass game! It's the second time you've done that to me. Okay. Well, that's it for our 762. What's in the magazine is it. Yeah, there was no way I was going to survive that. There was even a white. There was even a damn white in that group. What the hell, man? <sighs> All right. Enough belly aching. Move on. So, um, what I want to do is we're going to put a, uh, a frame down here. 
There's a sleepy right there. Okay. Wake up, little Susie. No, this door, please. Come on, guys. Cooperate. I'm in a bad mood right now. Ow. Not many buzzards around, do we? Guys, just die. <laughs> there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's let's just leave that block there, and we'll break this thing. More sleepies in the front. Don't think so. All right, let's start looting here. Old guy's a little salty, man. Stupid frickin' running horde. A little salty right now. Ugh. Right? Okay. We might actually get enough money to use the vending machine for the first time on this playthrough. Well, here. Let's let's not do that yet. Got somebody's attention somewhere. Someone in the back room or someone outside? Looks like it's someone outside. All right. You know what? Let's let's just finish the front room first. Screw that guy. We'll come back and kill him later. Uh, all right. See, we got, um, I don't know, half a dozen vitamins maybe now. So the sham sandwiches are, are actually really good food. Come on. Give me some actual decent food here. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. That's a lot of those boys. Um, we're going to have to get the big gun out. Shit. This is not going well. Shit. Use that ammo, but a wooden block can't hold three construction workers. They're just too tough. We're expending our 7.62 ammo faster than we're gaining it. 
That's not good. Oh, you're uh, you're an easy. Stupid easy. Forget about him right now. Let's get back here. Okay, I think it's all clear. Not only am I salty, but I'm also tired. <laughs> it's after midnight. I gotta go to bed after this episode. I'm not that salty. Not really. I mean, you know, I'm a little irritated about it, but... Shit happens. Just bad luck. But we are going to get a bunch of chamois cans out of here, and that, that's going to be super useful. That's why I wanted to come in here, because you get lots of sham cans of sham. Okay, do we have any... That's just a, a big bathroom, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I guess this is a, the small store. I was thinking there was more back here, but I guess not. Um, scrap a doodle. Okay, that does it for the chamois store. All right, guys. Well, um, let's kill Easy here. He just insists on being killed, so let's oblige him. And then we got to wrap up this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to we're going to decide uh, what to do next. Now we could. Oh shit. Stupid bird. Uh, we could stay here for a while longer and loot a few more POIs and wait until uh, I level high enough to make the workbench, which basically means two more levels. That way, when we leave, we can make at least a bicycle. And it might even be smart to stay a little bit longer and go to the mini bike. Because the bicycle is going to be tricky. Uh, mo mostly because of buzzards. I mean, we can, out we can outrun the Zs on the bike if we manage our stamina correctly. But uh, we can't outrun the buzzards on the bicycle. It's not possible. And, you know, if we have one buzzer chasing us, yeah, we can hop off and shoot him. But if we have a buzzer chasing us and, you know, two or three zombies chasing at the same time, well, <laughs> things could get a little ugly there. Did I already check this stuff? I did not. Well, we certainly have plenty of acid for tires. So, yeah, um... You know, the other thing about making a workbench is then we can start making our own ammo, too. We already have a working chem bench just across the way. Plus, I can make a chem bench anyway, because we found the schematic for that early on. So, you know, we, we have two really good reasons to stick around a little bit longer to make that workbench. So I think that's going to be the plan. I'm, you know, if I, if I give it some more thought and change my mind... You know, I'll let you know in the next episode, but I think we're going to stick around here and just keep looting POIs and getting those XP levels so that we can make that damn workbench. And maybe that'll be our next POI in the next episode since it's right next door. Um, the other thing, too, is um, 
I don't think we've fully explored this town. There might be buildings beyond, uh, you know, the football stadium. Don't know if there's a whole lot out that way, though, either, so. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll make sure that we do explore the whole town before we actually leave, because I would really like to find a bookstore. Or even a church. You know, if we could find a cathedral, there's a lot of books in there. Oh, we do have the poopy pants. Maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hit poopy pants in the next episode, guys. Okay, so I'm going to spend the rest of today, in-game day, um, probably just mining, going around, hitting iron, um, maybe mining underground, getting more stone so we can continue making more cement. Because um, we can start cooking cement in here, too. We got lots of lead built up in there, so that's good. And then, you know, tomorrow's day 14, of course, so we're going to have to deal with the horde. And I'm probably going to do... Something similar, you know, to what we did for day seven, but maybe spend a little more time on it uh, and make it a little nicer. Uh, for one thing, we, you know, we, we need to have more of a, of a platform on the top so that we have time to aim at the zombie's head as they're coming with us. Because the, the last time we only had a two block platform and the really fast zombies, they'd be up and down before we had a chance to even pull the damn trigger in sometimes. So we need to make that longer. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that here though at the prison because this is our actual base base and we don't want it you know to to get ruined so i'll have to figure out you know a good place to do that too i mean we, we could do it on top of any one of the stores because we've looted them and the and loot doesn't respawn so you know don't have to worry about anything getting destroyed there but i'll think about it and i'll let you know <coughs> excuse me what the plan is okay all right guys thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next episode i'm going to bed goodbye